What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you a little trick, a little tip that I use to fade out samples perfectly, especially when I want them to play back completely until the next quantized beat. And um, what do I mean by all this and what are we referring to? When you work in FL Studio, you can shorten a sample like so and you can have it fade out depending on how long you want that fade out. So let's say this snare, that snare drum, we can make it fade out however much we want. But the reason why I'm making this video is that a lot of times you'll listen to a sample and you'll wonder, well, why do I hear a little thump at the end of that sound? Why do I hear a little click? Why do I hear a little low end thump? And if we monitor that, we can see here that little thump right there. You see there, you guys got to wear headphones to understand this. Boom, thump, thump, right at the end. And these obnoxious sounds can add up in the mastering stage and really take away from your kick drum mastering. And it can be in different, different manners. Sometimes this happens because the person making the sample maybe didn't fade it out smoothly. Maybe it's a problem with the sample. Maybe you haven't... Um, done anything where maybe you've shortened the sample and it ends abruptly, maybe like this. You can see there that little like click, not so much a click, but like a little low end sound. This snare drum, you'd think, well, Ali, like it's, it's ending. Shouldn't that be okay? Like it, it should be okay, right? If we play it back. But we still get that low end click. And how can we correct this? A, if you do it, this way, this is one way, but I don't want to shorten the sample. Like if you use the declicking mode, you can do that and you can come in here. You can make this a bit shorter. You could do something like that. That's one method. And you can see they're smooth. And it's smooth, but I don't want to do that. I want to try a different method. Um, and it might work the exact same way, but I've mixed and matched different methods if I want that whole bar to play. And a lot of times I do use those fade outs. I use like the transient mode or generic. These are all pretty much the exact same. They just change the length. You can see there it changes the length. And sometimes if you cut the beginning of it, you can see here, you can also fade in the in and out, but we're going to leave those untouched. Okay. I want to show you this cool little trick you can do. On this snare drum, we have Fruity Balance. Now, as you know, Fruity Balance can be used for um, adjusting the volume. Um, I use it a lot in my chain if I wanted to minus something like minus 1 dB, minus 0.1 dB, these little micro adjustments. It's good to play around with multiple levels of gain uh, adjusting because that way you have a bit more control. And I'm using Fruity Balance here. You can see on the snare drum, OJ snare. And I have it go from 79%, the minus 0.4 dB to 0%. Now, listen carefully with it off. We still get that low end click. Now listen to it with Fruity Balance on. And it's pretty much mitigated it. We get a smooth result. So this is my number one tip. If you guys want to do something like this, let's pretend this doesn't exist throw on Fruity Balance, go ahead and create an automation clip, go to the area that you uh, want to adjust. And if you want to make it easy, you can right click, click hold, and just bring it to 0%. And this way you get rid of that little transient, that little click at the end in case you don't want to use the uh, declicking mode, because it really depends on the content that you're putting in here. The reason why I do this is because it's like a pride of snare, I want it to play back completely. I don't want like a little fade out, but a fade out could also work. But this is a cool little trick you guys can do to fix those annoying sounds or the annoying little fade outs that sometimes come abruptly and they can really sound bad when you start putting a lot of stuff on your mastering chain. So let's play this back again. And with it off, you can see that click. Oh, sometimes it's really obnoxious. So I hope you guys like this little tip. Um, in the next video, we're going to be continuing the Big Room series, part three to the Big Room track from scratch. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button, 
drop a comment let me know what you guys want to see for any suggestions hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you guys are aware of my uploads and i will see you guys very soon have an excellent day